shaky. Yeah. Like the, the... This guy's having a hard oh time. My oh, oh my god! Oh my god! It's crashed! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. They're gonna be scheduled. So this is China Airlines Flight 642 from 1999. I wanted to go over this because it's very similar, at least to me, to the February 17th Delta aircraft that flipped over. So there you can see the right side hits, the left wing is still creating lift. It causes that right wing to detach and also flip over. Another key similarity is the amount of survivors. So this one had 315 on board and 312 survived. And here you can see this Delta aircraft, 80 were on board and all of them survived. 18 injuries on this one. But again, this one looked terrible as well. So it looks very similar coming in, has a hard landing on the right main gear and hits the engine there's the fireball but the wing is detached that left side wing is still creating lift and it ends up flipping over upside down so it's just amazing how similar these two are so here here we are again in 1999 we're gonna look at this thing it's gonna be a hard landing there was a typhoon at the time there's that left wing lift up there's the big fireball of the right wing catching fire and detaching and then the aircraft is upside down so this is it here McDonnell Douglas MD 11 they went down at Hong Kong Airport and here it is upside down next to the runway and then here is the aircraft accident report from 2004 the right wing fractured between the number three engine nacelle and the right side fuselage and the wing outboard from the fracture was in one section and was found about 300 feet from the nose of the airplane in the main wreckage so again this one caught on fire detached the right wing and the left wing remained attached to the fuselage and was found at the main wreckage. So they both had some burning. They both looked terrible. But again, a lot, a lot of survivors and these things ended up way better than what it looks like. But here it is for firefighters. You know, I'm studying this as a, our firefighter and making access is a huge thing here. So after you worry about getting the fire out, you have to worry about all the extra fuel, um, putting foam down, making access. All the passengers that are maybe unconscious are upside down. So you have to go ahead and try to get these people out. Looks like the fuselage was in good good shape for people to, to exit. Um, same with the Delta video we saw of people exiting. But there's the detached wing up close. There you can see the doors open and uh, the fuselage is in survivable shape. So firefighters can make easy access going in. Just have to watch your step. You probably got a lot of luggage and, and all kind of debris on the aircraft. So here it is. You can imagine if there were people still with their seatbelts on, they could be hanging upside down. Probably a lot of head injuries as you can imagine flipping over um, upside down. Uh, there were many injuries looking at it here so here's the seat locations the red is the three people that did not make it and you can see there was 10 head injuries and then burns from people near that right side wing but very interesting to study this as a as a firefighter just to kind of see the aftermath and um you know when you make access the firefighters have to deal with all these people here um, getting them to the hospital quickest they had they were the ones with the severe burns so it's very good study for me as well and then here you can see ARF is on scene so I'm going to try to keep looking for these type of accidents from the past so we can study it they say history repeats itself and it seems so here looking at these two videos so please subscribe if you want to follow follow along as I look for some of these uh, past crashes and we can go through them together. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry for them, Q and I'll see you guys next time.